Texas came to Norman on Saturday afternoon looking to sweep across the state in less than a week. The Longhorns had gotten past the Cowboys 82 to 70 in Stillwater on Monday and were planning on handing the Sooners their first home loss of the season. But even though OU had lost three out of four, including a 17 point defeat at Nebraska on Saturday, and even with super sophomore Willie Warren hobbled with a bad right ankle, the Sooners would come out motivated on Saturday, the day that OU remembered the life of its greatest Sooner, Wayman Tisdale. Tom Braxton, a member of Wayman's band, played the national anthem, and his band would also team up with Toby Keith to play a tribute to big number 23 at halftime. It certainly seemed like the gentle giant was smiling down on OU early, as Tommy Mason Griffin started out on fire. The freshman guard once again picked up the slack as Willie Warren couldn't start and played only 16 minutes, scoring only three points. Meanwhile, TMG hit five of seven three-pointers in the first half, scoring 16 of his 24 points in the first 20 minutes, giving the Sooners a great start they desperately needed. OU was up by eight, only three and a half minutes into the game. Of course, Texas would close in, but this three-pointer by Kay Davis kept a 9-0 OU run. Sooners led 34-22. After Texas went on a 7-0 run of its own, this long ball by the Elk City Junior was part of a 14-1 run. Sooners had to end the first half. OU led 48-30 at the break. Davis had 16 of his 20 points in the first half, primarily on four of eight three-point shooting. In the second half, Texas would take the Sooners' 19-point lead and chip away. This Damian James drive made it 65-58 with 7.20 remaining. James had 12 points, 9 rebounds, but was only 4 of 13 from the line. Texas shot a paltry 37% from the charity stripe, and it cost them. As much maligned senior Ryan Wright played perhaps his best game of the year, scoring 11 points and grabbing 14 rebounds for the first double-double of his career as the Sooners. Proved to 11-0 at home on the season with a gutsy 80-71 win over Texas. You know, what a great day to celebrate uh, the greatest Sooner basketball player in the history of the program than by winning on the day that we honored Wayman. And I thought our guys played with the heart that Wayman displayed so much and not just basketball but his life. But, again, really pleased with this. Cade and Tommy were – Tremendous, especially in the first half. I thought Ryan Wright played his heart out and had maybe one of his best games, maybe his best game here. Just the chance just to um, be out there and be a big contributor to, to wins like this is something I've been waiting my whole career for. And to finally be able to do that in my senior year, it's just a dream come true. You know, I'm just enjoying the ride. I'm trying to have fun every game and play hard and, and, and just win. Um, you know, I'm just enjoying it and trying to finish off my senior year right. It's just like a mental thing. Like, I wanted to know what I was getting to before the game. So I'm asking Willie, like, I was asking Willie like a hundred times, are you playing today? You playing? What you going to do? Because I know what I had playing, I was going to have to have the ball in my hand a lot. And I knew they was going to be pressuring me with Barbe and Avery Bradley with the aggressive defense. So just mentally being ready. We, you know, we expect to, for it to be a war like this every time, you know, you know, being down a few men and, and uh, you know, it's just been a struggle for us all year. So we know we're going to have to fight even more to get wins. And, uh, and this was uh, a good one for us to get. The nine-point win over the ninth-ranked team in the nation moves the Sooners to 4-4 four and four in the Big 12 with endless challenges ahead. First up, a quick turnaround with Texas Tech coming to town Tuesday night. The night OU plans to honor the second greatest Sooner ever, Blake Griffin. Reporting from Lloyd Noble Center, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.